Uh, this is Murph again. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna show you um, how to uh, uh, run a Linux application um, hosted on a cloud uh, provided like DigitalOcean. I have a cloud instance there and I'm gonna be using uh, my cloud desktop uh, and open application on my machine locally without using any kind of VNC or anything. So through SSH, yeah x routing options. So SSH has uh, this great feature called x forwarding, uh, x11 forwarding, that gives the ability to uh, open programs locally on a machine uh, without even, you know, logging and remoting into that machine through like a VNC or anything like that. So in this case, for example, uh, I'm now logged into my cloud instance here, which I call my cloud desktop. You know, I can launch uh, LibreOffice, for example, Right, I can work on it, and I can save stuff, you know, and, and do all this work in through VNC. Uh, but what if I don't want to do VNC, right? What if I want to just SSH? What if my firewall uh, where I am doesn't allow me to use VNC connections at all and just only allow SSH? So, in that case, um, I could do something like X forwarding option. So, I'm just going to show you how to do in Mac. Uh, Mac is pretty simple, or any Linux uh, machine, if you have one, that should be pretty simple, but Windows requires a bit of uh, um, work, a little bit, actually. So, for Mac, all you have to do is basically, uh, for, um, before you even begin, usually it does get enabled, but make sure on your machine, um, what you are going to do, the SSH, uh, etc. Going to use sudo here. So I'm logging as root, but if you use uh, sudo, you can do that. SSH deconfig. Make sure you have this option is enabled, which is the x11. If you see Google, I mean, search Google, you'll find a lot of instructions around this piece, but uh, x11 forwarding, yes, yes, okay, that's what. Uh, Make sure that is enabled, right? Usually it's enabled by default, but if it's not, just uncommand that and restart your SSHD, you know, like this. Once you configure it, you know. Sorry. Do service SSHD restart, right? You can do that and that will basically restart the SSH uh, daemon on the CentOS box uh, or Linux box, you know, and then, you know to make uh, that X11 forwarding option enabled. So, on my Mac, I have a terminal here, right? Uh, actually, I think I already have one. Uh, just gonna do, I'm gonna make it bigger for you. So I'm just gonna do SSH-Y option. That's why I do to uh, make it use of uh, X11 forwarding. Uh, dash y option and then my IP if I remember oops, I should have it already okay so SSH you know dash y and my IP and the user account is L you know and then uh, password so now I'm just you know I can now instantiate uh, SSH forwarding uh, yeah x11 forwarding now so if I want to open up LibreOffice for example I'm going to say for example gedit for example okay that's a pretty basic uh, editor window you know, and percent here uh, see something is happening here take some time here hopefully I didn't have it open Okay, here you go. It took a little longer than usual. So now I have this locally open, right? If I go back to the VNC of this machine, right, I don't see it running. I can even close the VNC. I don't even need VNC here. So I can do hello world. I am working on a document on my cloud desktop. And now I can save um, 
this document here on my desktop, uh, cloud desktop as well. Yeah, for some reason, it's, uh, my network is a little slow today. Probably got the case here. Usually, it's faster. Come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, test document. Right. So now it's saved, right? So when I close it. My test doc is there, here. Right? So I can do an ls test doc is there, right? So it's saved on my cloud desktop. I can do the same thing with uh, uh, LibreOffice, right? LibreOffice, which will open uh, LibreOffice here. It's a 512 megabyte uh, and one CPU instance. It's a little bit uh, constrained. I don't say it uh, too much, but it's okay. And I can, you know, create a test document here. Hello world. Right? So I can work on my document and that's how it is. It's just locally running on my machine here on my Mac. So that's exporting in, in Mac uh, on a Windows site. Right, I have a Windows box here, it's Windows 8, I believe it will work. What you need to do is you need to have PuTTY installed. You can have PuTTY install an Xming for X server. So I have a PuTTY installed already here. Right, so I can just uh, use that, but uh, let me install Xming, which I don't have installed. So which is you can download from source sourceforge.net. And then you can download from there, so I'm just gonna download. Right, okay. Okay, I install it. install it. It's pretty simple. Like any Windows installation. Portable party link SSH client used with portable party. I don't need that, but you, you can play with the settings. I'm just gonna keep it default. Uh, yeah, sure. Launch it. So I have it now running here, as you see here, XBIN server. Now I'm going to bring a putty here and I'm going to put my IP address, uh, which is uh, this IP address, this public IP that I got from DigitalOcean. Can go. Sorry. And then um, SSH is fine. I'm going to go to the x11 here, enable x1 forwarding, and I'm going to do local host colon zero. Uh, okay, let's try that. Okay, let me try this. Voila. So looks like Windows is a little faster for some reason than my uh, Mac machine. So I can now, it's, you know, hi, I'm using Putty. Okay, I can save it. Um, so I have this, uh, you know, close it up, save it, save. Let's try Firefox. It might not work always. Uh, sometimes you guys see issues. thinking as I said my machine is not that high resource uh, machine uh, VM so it's like only 5 to megabytes so uh, so here you go I have Firefox 
uh, you know, running. Um, this one I need. For some reason, I cannot type anything here. Well, that some seems like a bug, but I'm I'm sure there might be something the font or something that I might have to configure on that box. But most of the application should work. But you know, uh, let's see. Yeah, something with the address bar here. Uh, but you can try other browsers and see if that works. Uh, but you know, still handy, I think, better than. Uh, VNC in some cases, you know, natively running it on your machine. So that's about it. That's how exporting works, actually. And it uses the plain uh, SSH uh, connections for this uh, whole thing. You don't need to, you know, use 5900 or any other ports. Uh, you could just, uh, you know, use your application through the CPF GIMP. You know, you could try using GIMP. Uh, all sorts of things can be done. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, just subscribe. Please.